Hey guys. So our next assignment is also going to be in Google Drawings, and I want to walk you through how to create a digital drawing from a photograph. So again, I'm going to go to my drive, and I'm going to go to New, down to More, and Google Drawings. And it'll open up a Google Drawing for me. I'm actually going to move this over to this side of the screen. And I'm going to choose a simple photograph to create my drawing from. So I'm going to go up here to, actually, the first thing I'm going to do is rename this. So I'm going to put my first and last name, dash, um, digital drawing from photo. Kind of be specific so that I know what this is. And then I'm going to go up to the insert image button, which looks like a little mountain. And I'm going to search the web. And since, since Thanksgiving is right around the corner, I'm going to pick something maybe in that theme. So maybe pumpkin pie. Those are pretty simple drawings. I'm going to go with this first one right here. Insert that image, and what I'm going to do is move this image off of my drawing board, which is the checkered background here, off to the side, and then I'm going to sort of scoot my screen over. Okay, so I'm going to use the polyline tool for most of this drawing here, and I'm going to show you how to change these colors so that it looks like a piece of pumpkin pie when we're finished. Um, you can choose any image you want. You don't have to go with pumpkin pie. I was just trying to pick something that was kind of in the, the season here. So now I'm going to go up to the line tool, which looks like this. And I'm going to hit the down arrow and I'm going to click polyline. And what I'm going to do is draw around the outside of my entire shape first. And then scoot that over to my drawing board. This is my drawing board here where the checkerboard is. So I'm going to click and then drag and then click. And every time I click, it creates a new point. And you have to be careful not to double click because if you double click, it closes your shape too soon. Um, and you may have to redo this a couple of times. So practice. See, I messed up. I accidentally clicked too close to my last point. So it closed the shape. So I'm going to hit Control Z. I was actually hoping that would happen so that I can show you that it does happen a lot. <laughs> All right, so I am drawing around my entire piece of pumpkin pie. I actually don't like pumpkin pie. It's just not one of my things. A lot of people love it and it's kind of a, a symbol of the Thanksgiving season, but I don't like it. I, I mean, it's not my favorite. I guess I could eat it if I had to, but mm, I don't like it. <laughs> but it makes a good drawing. All right, so when I get back around to the uh, the other line, you can see it kind of snaps to that line when I get close to it. So I'm going to do that and let it fill in that shape. And the default color is this blue, which is not the color of pumpkin pie. So the first thing I'm going to do is go up to my border color, and I'm going to make it transparent because I don't want a border on there at all. And then I'm going to go to the paint bucket and I'm going to change it to something that's similar to pumpkin pie, maybe this color here. And then I'm going to choose the arrow tool, which is here, the select tool. And I'm going to move this over to my drawing board. Now I can move this and try to get it even and use these guidelines to help me straighten it up. Or you can make this easy on yourself by holding down shift. By holding down shift before you start to move it and it will keep your um, shape from moving up and down and then when you get to the center of your drawing board that red guideline pops up and then you can release it so there's my outline and now i'm going to go back up to the polyline tool and this time i'm going to draw the crust so i'm going to start here and trace around the crust. I need to do a couple of points back here along the back because this is a slightly curved line. 
And if you happen to have like a USB mouse or a mouse that you can plug into your Chromebook, um, that might make this a little easier. I have one, but I figured a lot of you don't have one. So I'm not going to use one because I wanted to use what you guys have, which is just the trackpad on your Chromebook. And that's what I'm doing. I do have my trackpad set up um, to just touch to click. So I don't actually have to press down on it. All I have to do is touch it to click it. And to me, that makes it a little easier. Uh, it also makes it where if you accidentally bump it, it will click when you don't mean to. But I mean, once you get used to it, I like that a lot better. All right, so I'm going to change the fill color to match. Usually it will default to whatever the last color you chose was. So it's the same as this one. So I need to change this to a more of a crust color. Maybe a tad. I don't know, I might work on that color a little bit later once I get that move. So now I'm going to go back up to the arrow tool. Hold down shift and slide this over. There's my crust. So this color matches these lighter colors here. I'll probably go back and do an area of dark to make my crust look more textured and realistic. All right, so I'm gonna go back up to the polyline tool and I'm going to draw the actual pie part or the pumpkin part. I'm go all the way around this whole section. This is a very neat piece of pie, so it makes it a little easier to draw around and then it's a little bit too orange maybe that i might adjust these colors later all right then i'm going to slide this over don't forget to hold down shift and if you do forget you can always just control z and it'll undo whatever you just did all right back up to polyline and now i'm tracing this edge of the pie which you can see is a little bit darker. Um, what I'm doing is picking out the values. You guys have learned a lot about values um, over the last couple of months. We talked a lot about, oh, actually, let me change this color before I get it over there. We've talked a lot about value. And so this is where it comes in handy. Okay, that's a little bit too dark. So I'm going to go to custom here. And maybe go with something right around here so that it's slightly darker than this color. I'll hold down shift. So now you can see that it is slightly darker than the top piece, but not too far off from that same color. So there's this little light edge right here. That's a lighter area of value. I'm going to go back up to my polyline and try to kind of outline this little area of light value. I don't know why that went back to blue. So again, change my border to transparent. And then this time that might be too light, but I'm going to move it over here and see how it looks. Hold down shift keeps it in the same plane. So there's the edge of the pie there. That's a little bit too light. I'm going to go one shade darker, which might be the same. Yeah, that's the same as my other one. So another trick you can do is go to custom and change the transparency. If I want that color to be similar, but just a tad lighter or different, I can change the transparency and sometimes it'll change it just enough to make it different. I don't like that either. So I'm going to change it here. There we go. So now it's a little bit lighter, but not too, too light. Um, right here where you can see my outline of my original shape, what I can do is adjust these points. So to adjust the points on this lighter piece of the crust, you're going to double click and all those little points will pop up. And then I can grab those points and move them in or out 
to help cover any of those outside shapes that I want to cover. The only thing is you can't add more points. So you want to make sure you get enough points when you create the outline so that if you need to move any, you'll have points there to move. All right. So now I've kind of fixed that a little bit more. And now I want to go back and do this lighter area here and then some of the darker areas in the crust. So I'm going to grab my polyline tool again. And sometimes it's kind of hard to pick out these values. So you just want to sort of pick out the values as best you can. All right, so this changed it to the crust color. So I'm going to go back and pick this color. Maybe this one. Yeah, I'm going to do that one. Hold down shift, scoot this over so that it becomes my lighter color. Now, this is too much of a difference between this color and this darker color. So what I'm going to do is select that, go up to my paint bucket and go to custom. And I'm going to change the transparency of this one. And that will let the color that's underneath kind of show through and it tones it down a lot. So I'll actually tone it down a lot more. So it's just a very subtle difference between those two colors. Okay, so I need some darker values in the crust because this is much too light. So I'm going to go back up here and grab the polyline tool and trace around these darker values. They're on the back of the crust here. Doesn't have to be too perfect because, I mean, we are talking about a piece of pie, not you know, we're not building a house, so your lines don't have to be absolutely perfect. As long as you get some bumps and uh, variations in the outline so that it looks bumpy. Okay, there's my shape. Change that border to transparent. You always want to make sure that that, um, if it defaults back to that blue color, you want to make sure you change it back to transparent. Okay, this time I'm going to go with this, which is way too dark, but I'm going to adjust the transparency of this part and see if it will lighten it up enough. So I'm going to go to custom and change the transparency. Yeah, so that makes it about perfect. So it's a little bit darker. Um, I could continue to work and add like this little dark area here. I could add this little dark area along the crest, but I'm going to quickly run out of um, time to do that on this video. So I'm going to stop at this point just because I think that's a good enough um, tutorial for you guys to see how to do the digital drawing. So then I'm going to go back up to file and don't forget this step. Um, I think a lot of you guys forgot about this whenever you were doing the Icarus drawing and you were trying to upload the Google drawing to your assignment and you can't do that. You have to upload a JPEG. So in order to get a JPEG, I'm going to go up to file and I'm going to move this out of the way again. Oh, and by the way, this photo that's over here that's off of your drawing board is not going to show. So anything that you put over here is kind of like your workspace. It's like if you had a desktop, a real desktop, and you're drawing and you have an image off to the side, it's not going to show up. So you don't have to worry about deleting that image. So I'm going to go to File, Download, JPEG. That will download a JPEG of just your drawing that's on the drawing board to your drive. And then you're going to upload that JPEG image to the assignment in Canvas and make sure that you upload it. Don't share it with me because sometimes those get lost in the shuffle of emails that I get every single day. So make sure you share it or upload it to the assignment in Canvas. All right. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Let me know if you have questions. Thanks.